Hello again, everybody. Happy Wednesday, and welcome back to another edition of Phil's Five. I hope your week is going well. Um, here in Dallas today at my house, because uh, focus was on Dallas today in terms of the permitting update and briefing that the city manager and his team gave to the council today, and uh, kind of mixed bag on that in terms of just where they're going. On one hand, you've got a uh, really intricate, really detailed plan that was laid out of all the plans that we've had on this. This is the, I think, the most well thought through one that they have. But as we've learned over the last 26 months on this, having a good plan doesn't mean anything. It's the implementation and the execution of that plan that matters more than anything. And that's what we needed to have uh, several, several months ago and are way overdue for. And, uh, you know, there's there's another bit of concern. You know, I, I, I got to kind of contrast the plan that uh, the assistant city manager and some of the other staff have put together there and are prepared to carry out from some of the comments from the city manager on the subject, which uh, I think were in many cases uh, less than ideal. You know, there's one narrative there that says, well, because we count everything in terms of when stuff is turned in and when the clock starts running on how long your permit takes, uh, that's why it looks worse in Dallas than what it does. Well, I think that's kind of a false narrative because uh, anytime you're doing plan review, the the code is what the code is. The codes are very similar from city to city across the Metroplex. So uh, the process by which you review them and the zoning intricacies that you have that underlie that, uh, that's on you as a city. And those are really some steps that uh, I think are unforced errors in the city of Dallas right now. Um, I tell you, the one thing that I'm counting is that we've got 10 counties in our jurisdiction and uh, over 100 cities and all, all across that. And there's exactly one that's had and continues to have a permitting issue, and that's Dallas. Uh, our builders, unfortunately, are still reporting that it's uh, 10 to 12, maybe more weeks to get stuff done there when it's consistently been two to three in uh, quite a few others. So um, I know that's one of the frustrations that I've got that was uh, expressed by several other council members in terms of okay, you know, we've got a plan here, but where are we going? When is this going to get resolved? When's the uh, worst of the permitting crisis going to be behind us? And we didn't hear that today when that's ultimately the, the most important question uh, that we have. So a uh, lot more to unpack there, but one of the other things, and I'll leave it here, is that I've been trying to tell people in the media that despite what was said today, uh, this is a big problem. It has been a big problem, and it's not over-exaggerated because builders are losing two to $300 per project per day on this issue, and um, that's not a fire drill. That's a full-blown full inferno that we've been trying and will continue to sound the alarm on uh, going forward. So, um, like I said, good news, bad news, and, and a lot more advocacy that we owe to you to get through this, and we need to keep hearing all of your comments and uh, reports from on the ground and what's happening, uh, working with the city as we go forward. Uh, switching gears, much uh, brighter note there yesterday. Uh, my heart was warm. Everybody was happy because we reopened our office for a sneak peek donor appreciation party. I hope, and this gets to my next item here, that you can come uh, to the ribbon cutting and grand opening on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, May 24th. We're going to cut the ribbon at 4 p.m. Uh, the party's going to go till 8 o'clock. Uh, Structure Home Warranty is being a generous sponsor of that. Um, just like last night, you're going to be in for a treat just to see what an incredible space that's been uh, well designed and built by Michael Turner, Classic Urban Homes, and all the trades that contributed to it, and the staff who put their uh, eagle eye for design on making this thing, this vision, a reality. So uh, be sure to get your tickets for the ribbon cutting on dallasbuilders.org. Also, we've got an ARC entry prep webinar May 24th from noon to 1 p.m. You can register once again at dallasbuilders.org for that, and we'll have the producers and the judging coordinators there to kind of help you 
figure out how to make your entries stand out for the judges uh, new system and glad to have PNP on board with that. So if you're interested in the ARC awards, jump in there. And then last but not least, the Metro East division tomorrow, May 19th, it's over at the Spring Hill Suites in Rockwall. Uh, it's going to focus on interior design trends and you can as it goes, register at dallasbuilders.org. Uh, just note that new location and hope you can make it out for Metro East tomorrow. Uh, hope you enjoyed Phil's Five and this update here. Keep on building, and we'll see you next week at the reopening. Take care. Bye.